welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about my makeup essentials. Wait, let me just grab my makeup bag and then ta-da! Sorry about the light conditions by the way because the sun is coming out and go, uh, then there are like clouds on it so it's gonna change. I hope you don't mind about that. I'm really sorry because if I'm gonna do it darker and the sun is gonna it's gonna be the sun is gonna be behind the clouds again and it's gonna be too dark so excuse me for that <laughs> okay starting with the video today we are gonna talk about my makeup essentials everything I need for my makeup to go is here in my makeup bag and today we're gonna talk about this of course I have more makeup um, especially in cases of eyeshadows and everything and also lipsticks but when it comes to foundations and everything else for eyebrows and everything or contouring, actually this is the only thing I have and I don't know, I just, I, I, I'm that type of person, you know, if I have something I need to finish it and then I can buy another one, otherwise it's gonna be there and then everything is gonna be like a whole mess, so I can't stand it. Therefore, um, most of my pieces and makeup products I just have one time. Okay, so let's gonna start. I'm gonna try to start it in the way I'm go I would apply my makeup, so therefore it would make a little bit of sense. Um, because if I'm just gonna get in my makeup bag and I'm just gonna try but take something out, in the end it's gonna be like a little bit of a chaotic. So we're gonna try it that way. First of all, when I would get ready, I am gonna start with my primer. And when it comes to my primer, I am using the Minimal Veil Primer from Our Class, which I discovered at Sephora in New York City. And this one is oil free, which is perfect for my uh, skin condition because I have oily and acne prone skin, which I already talked a lot about in my previous videos. So this is the perfect primer for keeping my foundation in touch and also for not getting um, oily um, skin texture. Also, when it comes to primer, I am using a uh, Tom Ford eye shadow primer how do they call it eye primer duo it is an eye primer like this and then um above the eye primer you have like a finishing powder primer can you see something like that no you can't <laughs> and um these are my two primers then after i will put my primer on i am going to do my makeup for my makeup, I am currently using, it depends, if like at the moment I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I run out, so now I just have like, how do you say it, like um, tester from it, so I can't show you because it doesn't look pretty at all, but when I'm not using the one from Estee Lauder, I'm using the Cushion Foundation from Laneige. As I already told you in all my previous videos, I love Laneige products, not just for skincare products, but I also love Laneige for um, makeup. And uh, I think cushion foundations are one of the best things you can do because you can just tap it and then you can tap it on your face and then it's just that. It's really simple and it's perfect for to go. And also this one is a special version edition. I don't know, is it Boko? So I wasn't gonna show it to you later. This is a special edition from Laneige with uh, like the Swarovski and crystals and it's really beautiful. I love this one and it smells adorably good because Laneige and Amo Pacific has the best smells when it comes to their products. Okay, I need to change quickly this because it's getting like too bright and so just give me a minute. Since the sun just came out, I the part down here was like too bright and my face was too dark so I needed like to change a little bit. And yes, I hope it's gonna stay like this because otherwise it's really hard to do the video. So you have to know since I'm Asian I always want that my skin color is a little bit brighter and like snow white. <laughs> so therefore I'm using products which makes me brighter which is not common in a western culture because in a western beauty um, branch people tend to get a darker shade for getting the tanned look which 
actually doesn't suit me so that's the reason why I'm always trying to have a brighter look. After applying my makeup I'm gonna try to um, fix all of my dark spots, hyperpigmentation and with that one I am using um, how do you say this one? It's a color correcting, uh, color correcting concealer. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> I just missed the word for that. So it, this is a cream color correcting concealer for red spots, which I'm using. I also use an um, orange fix color correcting concealer for dark spots. Both of them are from Dior and after applying the um, color correcting concealer I'm putting my real concealer on. My real concealer I'm putting over the color correcting for my dark spots, which today I didn't do while you can still see my dark spots by the way. And I also put my concealer under um, my eyes for dark, preventing dark circles. This is a concealer from Laneige. It's a cushion concealer. I really love this way. Um, it's kind of like my cushion foundation, but it's just like as in concealer, which is a shade brighter for concealing it. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I am using my my Benefit Gimme Brow in, in shade number 3. Yeah. I also have other brow products to be honest, but I'm, I, I just, I'm so bad at using brow products. So that's actually the only thing I'm doing uh, is putting the Gimme Brow over my eyebrows. After using the eyebrows, I am putting my eyeshadow in it. And my to go for is an eyeshadow palette from Chanel, which looks like this and this is my favorite color palette it is the one number 14 with mystic eyes and i also have the naked palettes and a few other chanel um eyeshadow palettes but this one is really my all-time favorite and the one i use um a lot if you i was thinking if you wanna want me to do a video where I'm gonna show you how to apply my eyeshadow or my makeup in general just leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up and then we're gonna do a get ready to get a video after applying my eyeshadow I am doing my eyeliner for my eyeliner here I am using a the signature the Chanel Styler eyeliner this is a liquid eyeliner Ugh. It looks like this and um, there's only one color it's only in dark in noir because it's French and then for below uh, under my eye I'm using a white eyeliner this one I have no idea what it is I got it as a present once it's from mask I actually never heard about this brand before and it's organic cosmetics in white and also I have a black one which is from Lancome um, it looks like this. It's Le Crayon Roi. Excuse me, my French. Excuse me, moi. <laughs> oh my god, my French is so bad. Like, I just had it in school, so I actually don't even speak French and I don't know French. I think this one I got it from last year. I used this one before, but this is the version I got last year from my advent calendar from Selfridges. Um, after this step, I am gonna curl my lashes and my eyelash curler is from Shiseido, uh, a Japanese brand. But talking about eyelashes, what I'm also doing with eyelashes is when I lived in New York, I um, discovered the lash lifting for myself. Asian people tend to have like very straight lashes and um, I was lucky enough I have really long lashes but my lashes were still like straight so they were like long but straight and I could curl them and they were like curled for like I don't know like 10 minutes and then after that they were straight again so when I lived in New York I tried out the lash lifting for the first time and since then I'm always going for a lash lift because um, my lashes are really curled which gives my eyes a more open look it looks more beautiful it's more pretty but then also um, sometimes 
after a few weeks of course the effect is not as the same as I just applied it so therefore sometimes I still need my eyelash curler but I think I'm gonna have an appointment in two weeks again something like that so for the mascara I'm currently using one from Yves Saint Laurent the shock mascara this is just a mini version I got out from my uh, advent calendar last year as well and then I um, this one is I'm using for the upper lashes and for the lashes uh, under my eye I am using the power volume from Sun and Park why because the one from Sun and Park is a little bit smaller so uh, if I'm applying it from my under lashes I can't I won't put mascara on my face so at the moment that's the reason why I'm using two mascaras at the same time after applying my mascara I am going to do ah I'm gonna contour my face most of the time I'm just only contouring my nose which looks like this and sometimes I also like give my face a more shape then I'm gonna contour it uh, under my cheekbones here at the forehead and my contour pencils are both from Burberry. I don't even know if they still have these ones. Because Burberry launched them a few years ago and then somehow... I, I'm not sure about this before I say something wrong, but I think their cosmetic line wasn't as successful as, as, successful as they wish. Because for example at Douglas, which is uh, German Sephora, kind of, they um, put it out of their sort of uh, like equipment and I put it out of the stores just say it like this sorry my English sometimes is really bad <laughs> but currently I'm using these two for contouring and for highlighting my face after contouring and highlighting I'm using a blush which is this one and my blush is from Tom Ford it is the sheer cheek duo Paradise Lust. I really love this packaging from Tom Ford because it's really beautiful. It's white. I prefer white packages more to be honest. So I have to admit that I bought this um, um, cheek palette because of the packaging. <laughs> Yeah. The only thing left is a fixing powder. A fixing powder which I am using is from Hourglass as well. It is also from the Veal um, product line. It is the Veal Translucent Setting Powder. It is from the same line as my primer. Powder. And the only step missing are lipsticks. Lipsticks are, in my opinion, the most important part. So that's also my last part because it's my favorite part and from my lips at the moment I'm currently my favorite to go is from Tom Ford as well and it is in the call Pussycat. It is the color which I'm actually wearing right now and it is one of my favorite colors at the moment. I love those packaging by the way but this is my all time to go and I really really love this one. And yes. All these products I mentioned were my makeup essentials, which I am using, I know it is a lot. And sometimes when I'm in a rush or when I'm not in the mood for makeup, I don't apply eyeshadow, for example. I don't contour. Well, I would say my nose is still contour, but I don't contour my whole face. And I don't conceal right away, by the way, which I didn't do today, so you could still see this dark spot <laughs> but um, sometimes I don't even put an eyeliner in it so it really depends because I used to be a girl who didn't use so much makeup and I would say that I still don't use so much makeup because there are a lot of days and times when I go without any makeup at all out of my house even with the dark spots and the hyperpigmentation it just depends where I'm going because sometimes when I do grocery shopping I just go out without makeup and then it's fine and then sometimes I have days where I apply a little bit more of makeup the full program which I just showed you and then it really depends on it but yes if you wanna see a get ready with me video or how I'm gonna apply the way I'm gonna apply my makeup the way I'm gonna apply my eyeshadow leave me a comment hit the subscribe button or just give me a thumbs up and if you like the video just 
share it with friends and family and then also what I just mentioned in my previous videos if you more curious about lifestyle travel and fashion topics head over to my website Lee Mademoiselle and otherwise I'm gonna see you in my next video <laughs> bye <laughs>